Hey guys, how's it going? Move Motion Graphics here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to create these cute 2D hand tabs in After Effects without any plugins. Scene creation. So to start off the project, I'll be animating the other elements of the scene, such as the camera and the tag. So I'll be speeding this process up since it doesn't involve the animation of the hand, so feel free to slow it down if you guys need to follow any of the specific instructions. So now that we're done with the animation of the other elements in the scene, let's move on to the hand animation. But before that, let's take a moment to thank our sponsor for today's video, SoundTube. For 99 cents a month, SoundTube is a sound library that has new sounds added in every week, produced by professional producers. I checked it out myself and it's really a comprehensive collection of 3,000 different sound effects and background music that I will use in my own films. So it's available for PC at the moment, so do check them out if you are interested. Animation and Puppet 2 what I usually do before I start off the animation of some important elements is to hide out and shy out the other elements that I do not need. This makes the workspace a little bit clearer and easier for me to digest all the information and all the keyframes that are present in the scene. So a quick explanation of what we're going to do after this, we're going to create a precom inside another precom. So one of the precom is for the transformation keyframes and the other one inside is for the power tool keyframes. And the reason why we need two precoms will be explained later down in the video if you're interested. So to start off the hand animation, what you want to do is to create a pre-composition for the hand layer just itself. Check the checkbox that says move all attributes into the new composition. So right now we should have a pre -com with the same aspect ratio and resolution of your main composition. So press tab and go back to the previous composition. So now we'll start animating that pre -com itself. So I like to animate this in a very cartoonish way. So as the hand moves out and comes into the screen, it will just have a simple tap and then it will leave the screen afterwards. So that's what I'll be doing from here. So what you guys might want to do is to move the anchor point to where our elbow might be in real life so that when you guys animate the rotation, it will be more natural and organic. So right now I animate the hand to come out from the start of the scene. So there's not much technical difficulties in this, so it's just shifting around the keyframes and the position values to where you want your hand to be. So what you want to do now is to press F9 and easy ease all the keyframes that you just made. So this will just give the keyframes a little bit more smoothness and your animation might look a little bit more fluid. What you want to do now is to enter the graph editor so that you can see the speed and position relevance. So you can edit those to match the speed of the moving hand that you would like it to be.
after tweaking with the keyframes and the easy e sliders for a while, so this is what I got. Right now we'll move on to applying the Power 2 animations in the hands. The Power 2 will basically make the fingers move and it'll make the animation look more realistic. Start by creating a pre-composition of the hand layer and leaving all the attributes in the layer hand. So now you want to head over to the Puppet tool and click on the few points where you think there are joints on your hands. With relevance to the keyframes that you made outside in the main layer, you want to start animating the fingers like how they move in real life, but way more exaggerated. After going back and forth and tweaking the values of the keyframes a while, you should be able to get a very smooth transition for the hand coming in and going out. So now that I'm done, I'm just applying the post processors in the whole composition such as turbulent displays and posterized time for my hand. Turbulent displays basically gives the whole image a little bit of boil which is kind of like a hand-drawn look and what posterized time does is to lower the frame per second of the hand so that it will give it a more cartoony look. I also added a camera lens blur as a transition for the beginning.
So there you have it, a very easily animated 2D After Effects hand tap animation used in many infographics today. If you guys want more, just fill it down in the comment section below and I will get back to y'all ASAP. See ya!